Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradeep. Today I will discuss week 1 assignment 1 of the course Programming in Java. In this channel I will provide every week's assignment. So please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get all the notification when I upload the video. Okay. So if you want previous sessions questions with assignment answers then you have to mail me. I will give the mail in my description. It will help you a lot in your final proctored exam. Which of the following is true? It is the first question. So the answer will be option C that is Java uses both interpreter and compiler. Now question number 2. A Java file with extension dot class contains Java white code. Okay. Dot Java is Java source code and dot class is Java white code. Now question number 3. Which of the following is not an object oriented programming paradigm? So the answer will be dynamic memory allocation because we all know that three pillars of OOPs are encapsulation, inheritance and polymorphism. So uh, this is dynamic memory allocation is not an object oriented programming paradigm. Now question number four, what will be the output of the following Java code? So this is the code snippet which is given. Now here plus plus G that means pre increment So three will become four here. Now four into eight will be 32 that is A. So option a will be the answer now question number five what is the correct sequence of steps to execute a java program so we all know first we will edit the program then we will compile the program and at last we will run the program okay so option will be option d first edit then compile then run now question number six consider the following code so this is the code snippet which is given as in ptl and under the main function it is written hello world so it will simply print hello world that is option a okay next question number seven what is the primary focus of java programming now if we run the java program that means the dot class file in any operating system then it will run so that's why it is platform independence is the main focus of the or the primary focus of the java programming now which of the following programming principle is a key aspect of java so the answer will be obviously object oriented programming because we all know that java is a object oriented programming language now question number nine what is the primary purpose of jvm in the java programming language so the answer will be platform independence that is option b now it is the last question question number 10 okay the code snippet is given where x equal to 5 then x here a shorthand operator is used okay now 8 plus 2 equal to 10 now 5 into 10 will be 50 and uh, if we print x it will print 50 so option a will be the answer now if you get some help from this video then please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching the video. We'll see you in the next video.